I'm not too critical of, of Elon's tweet uh, from today. You know, successful CEOs come in all shapes and colors and communication strategies, so on and so forth. But if you go back to the uh, ridiculous funding secured tweet, that, that is uh, something I'm particularly critical of. I, I'm very empathetic with people who bought that stock at 340, uh, thinking, wow, this is a company that's going to be taken out for 420, and, and, and now they've, they've lost quite a, quite a bit of money. And it does ask, the, kind of beg the question, what is the role of the board in a situation like that? And a role of a well-functioning board, first of all, they, they pick a great CEO who's developing a team. That they identify the key risks to a company and the mitigation plans, and they make sure the company's compliant with all rules and regulations. And this was a case where a company wasn't compliant with rules and regulations. And I'm hoping that this is a turn the corner moment where boards add a fourth responsibility, which is protect the reputation of the company. You know, in this particular instance, a strong board could have come right out and said, hey, Elon, we need to correct this. The funding is not secured. Uh, it's not even close. You got it wrong. Uh, let's just acknowledge our mistake and get information out very, very quickly. And I, that's not what they did. And I think that delay not only hurt investors, but, but also increases the probability that the SEC holds uh, uh, the company liable. Yeah. It sounds too like you think there's a, an element of some boards that feel indebted to the CEO himself. And I don't know if you're applying that to Tesla, but others would probably apply that, uh, that kind of narrative to a board like CBS. Yeah, but let me, let me first... Let me first share the good news. I ran the New York Stock Exchange for the better part of five years, and I can tell you most boards are very well functioning. The days of crony boards uh, sort of enriching management or enriching themselves are by and large gone, or they've diminished significantly. Activist investing has actually been quite helpful in this regard. But there's still an element of boards not acting quickly to protect the reputation and, and make tough decisions. I mean, CBS is a perfect example. Why would that board? not have said, okay, less. We'll take it at face value that these ac accusations in this first New Yorker article are not true because you're telling us that's the case. But we're going to go ahead and we're going we're to have you step down while we pursue an investigation because we think that that's the right thing to do in, in the name of good governance. It looked at the time like an obvious decision and certainly with the benefit of hindsight, it, it looks like it would have been the right decision. And, and I suspect well, it's because the board wasn't contemplating this, this fourth responsibility of how do we protect the reputation of our business for the long term. Hey, Tom, it's John Ford. So I, I'm wondering, in the case where you've got a powerful CEO, maybe a founder CEO, whose uh, personality is all tied up with a brand, how do board members navigate that? Because I can imagine some situations where it, it might come down to, well, maybe I have to leave this board if I can't get the CEO to act in a way that I think is appropriate, or if I can't get the other board members to agree with me how serious the situation is. John, I think you've asked the exact right question, and let me make it even more complicated. In both the examples I just gave you, the CEO is the chairman. So that, that complicates it even further. But I've seen this model work. I'm a believer in the chairman and CEO model when appropriate. And you can have a very strong lead director. Uh, as you know, I spent a good, goodly portion of my career at Intercontinental Exchange, where Jeff Sprecher was the chairman and CEO. But I can tell you the lead director in the room acted in, in many cases like a chairman and was not afraid to step up and say, hey, this is something that's putting the company's reputation at risk. And if a board of directors isn't going to do that, they shouldn't be on the board of directors. 